Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger, and today we're going to play What a Legend. It's been a while since I've played this game, but there's been a few updates since the last time I did. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Alright, like I said, there's been some updates, and it's been a few months since these updates have happened, but like I said, I haven't played in a while. Uh, you know, I've kind of been busy doing other games and stuff, but I want to come back here and check it out. Uh, from what I understand, there's no update on the main storyline, but there are some of the branching storylines that we can take a look at. And that's what we're going to do today, is take a look at one of the two branching storylines that I know are, are available at the moment. Okay, this is where we need to be. This is where we need to be to continue the story. All right, who's this guy? Hey, who's that? Probably a customer who doesn't know Rose's work hours. Done. Hello there. If you're here looking to buy something, you should come back. Shh. Shut your mouth and follow me. Did he tell me to shut up? Okay, the man went and stood further away from Rose's wagon, looking at it with a frown. Look, I'm sorry if you're having a bad day, but I don't let people talk to me like I told you to shut it. Do you want to die? Whoa, 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 are you threatening me? I'm not the threat. The monster is. The what? The monster. A creature who preys on young men and murders them in horrific ways. Now, if you fancy dying, keep shouting. A monster? Here? I should warn Rose about it. Where did you see it exactly? Was it close to Rose's- Shut it! The woman you named is the monster. She is the cause of the ill luck and the, the many nasty incidents the people of the village have suffered from over the years. Crops getting destroyed, people going missing, magical creatures and other foul things entering our lives. But the sun will set soon, and we mustn't be here when she leaves her lair. Hang on a sec. I don't know who you are or where you get your information from, but I happen to know Rose very well. And she's one of the nicest people around. You know her? Have you interacted with her beyond what is necessary to buy her accursed wares? Yes, I have. And I can tell you that you're mixing her up with someone else. She has helped me more than once. And without even accepting money. Stand back. Stand back, I said. You're her thrall. A minion who does her bidding and brings her victims. I may not be so young anymore, but I know she wants to enslave me. Okay, first of all, don't call me a minion, please. And second, nobody here wants to enslave you, least of all Rose. All right, come. I'm sure there's been a misunderstanding. Let's just see if Rose is home and talk to her. You'll see how wrong you are about her. I looked at the wagon, meaning to knock on the door, but noticed the paper pinned to the wooden wall. What's that? We know what you are, and we will tolerate you no longer. Last warning. Hmm. Well, that's rude. What the fuck is going on here? Hey, did you write this? Where'd he go? He's mad. Calling me a thrall. Oh, mad! Uh, mad, not as an angry. Mad as in cuckoo. That's what. That's what he was saying by that. All right. Anyway, calling me a thrall and leaving Rose this letter. What has he got against her? Oh, there she is. Hey, Rose. Hi. Were you speaking with someone, dear? I heard uh, another one. Yeah, I was talking with the man who did it. He just left before you came out. It doesn't matter. It's better he left. I think he was half mad because what he said didn't make much sense. Uh-oh. It looks like she might be hiding some information. Are you okay, Rose? You look pale. I'm fine. I only need my coffee. About the man... If you see him again, just ignore him. The people in the village believe any rumor they hear. And that's not always a bad thing. Do you want people to think you're a monster? No, I don't. But an aura of danger and mystery has been great for business. Oh, much better. Do you want some coffee as well? Maybe later. The fellow who left that letter here called me your thrall and said you wanted to enslave people. I'm sorry he scared you. I'm not scared. But he seems unstable, which makes me a bit worried about your safety. He's sweet. Actually, 
I'm going to take that letter off the wall, find out where he lives, and no, let the letter be handsome. I'll use it to demonstrate why the villagers will never dare to make good on their threats. Placing her mug on the ground, she stood close to the door and brought her hand near the paper, muttering unrecognizable words while drawing something invisible with her finger. Okay, all right, we got a little magic going on. We got a little magic going on. Wow. You hadn't told me you could do spells, too. A bright triangular symbol had appeared in the air and floated toward the paper. Making it catch fire. If anyone ever bothers me too much, they'll get a taste of this spell. Damn, that's badass, girl. No wonder the fellow wanted to get away before you came out. I'm happy to impress. Don't ask me for more spells, though. I know very few of them. Well, this spell was awesome. Should I tell Rose that I once did a time spell? So, what brings you to this part of the wood, handsome? If you want to make more glue, I cannot do it right now. No, I wasn't here for that. I was just wandering around, looking for new adventures. Just seeing what kind of updates we have. You know, the regular. You should be careful where you wander to. These woods are dangerous, even during the day. Especially during the day. Why? Do you also think there's a monster around? <laughs> no, I don't. But I'm familiar with a handful of forest-dwelling magical creatures that will harm you if you're not careful. So if you ever want to come by my wagon before sunset, when I'm not here to protect you, most likely being in the forest foraging for potion ingredients, then leave at once and go somewhere safer until I'm back. Hey, I can come and help you in the forest. It should be fun. No, dear. You're better off enjoying your day elsewhere. Spending the whole morning with me would be dull and deadly. I understand, Rose. It's okay if you prefer to work alone. Just let me know if you ever need any help. I do need help, but not yet. Rose, too, is talking about dangers. If I'm not mistaken, this is the second time she tells me to avoid her wagon during the day. She gave me the same warning the night I first met her, right after she had read my palm. Maybe there really is a monster in the forest. And she doesn't want to tell me about it so as not to frighten me. Could that fellow from the village be talking about the same thing? Only more confused and mixed with rumors and superstition? Personally, I'd be more worried about a mad neighbor than a monster. So, I'd better sleep in my tent tonight. Rose can defend herself, but I want to be close if I need to. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and sleep in the tent and um, I, I guess that's it. I guess that's all we can really do. So, we'll go to the tent, take a little nap nap. That night, I had a dream. Pretty good dream, it looks like. Pretty good dream. Yeah, it was a nice dream. Lovely dream indeed. What do we got here? Are all these the girls or the ladies I'm going to meet over time? Could be. Maybe, if we're lucky. Oh, I even see possibly the orc girl. A dream I'd had countless other nights. At first, everything was great as usual. I was surrounded by beautiful girls. And they were all uncontrollably attracted to me. I mean, typical. I mean, you know, you know how it is. Everything was perfect. Super, duper perfect. But then something happened. Is that fire? The dream changed. And I found myself in front of Rose's wagon. Fuck! Rose's wagon is burning. Where is she? Someone's screaming for help. It doesn't say Rose, so I don't know who it is, but they know Jesse's name. Rose? I don't think it is Rose. Who are you? And where are you? It didn't sound like Rose. Okay, it's not Rose. And I don't know which side it came from. And now Jesse's naked. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jesse, I'm confused too. I can tell you're confused by the look on your face. Where did my clothes go? Come inside, huh? Are we going to? I don't, I don't know if it's a woman's voice or a man's voice. I don't know. But this voice, I think, is in the fucking trailer. Uh, all right. All right. We're going to go. Let's go. And trying to walk while I was asleep, I fell off my bed. <laughs> Fuck. It was only a nightmare. Whew. Anyway. Better go back to bed. Um, shit. Fuck. Damn it.
I don't think he's going to be able to fall asleep. I can't stop thinking about Rose now. She seemed fine earlier, even showing me her fire spell. But after that nightmare, I'd rather visit her wagon to make sure she's okay. All right, looks like we're going to go visit her wagon. Let's go. And when I got to Rose's wagon to pay her a visit, a large crowd of people had gathered there, holding pitchforks and shovels and looking attentively at the man that I had met earlier. Wow, what are all these people doing here? One more friends join us. Okay, we got uh, a whole bunch of villagers here talking. No, I was just scared of Celestina. You know how she told us not to bother the fortune teller. Celestina can't stop us. Celestina? Stopping them? We do this for the good of everyone. She's a danger to us all. Do you want our village to be safe for your families? Yeah. Then we have to deal with her. Her and the bad luck she has brought to our people. It's going to be hard to keep track of villagers if there's multiples. They're all going to have the same voice. I don't, it's just whatever. I mean, pretty much everybody has the same voice anyway. I'm not that good. You guys know that already. My wife bought a fertility potion from her and she said she was all right. We even had triplets two years in a row. Yes. But didn't your wife go mad soon after that because of having so many children? Well, my wife bought a potion to cure my hair loss, and it worked, Jeb. Your hair used to be straight before, and now look at it. Abominations. I guess curly hair is an abomination, huh? We must put an end to our abominations. She has tormented us with her potions while filling her own pockets. And she must be stopped. Are you with me? Yeah. Then let's make this her last night here. What? Are you guys fucking mad? Yeah, Jab, is it necessary? Necessary? She's a monster. Don't you care about your children coming here and being killed by her? And they say she traps them and uses their body parts to make her potions. I've bought invigorating potions from her before, Jab. I have never seen any body parts in them. Open your eyes, folks. Haven't you heard of strangers coming here and never returning? Have you not noticed that your orchards dry, your crops rot, and your livestock get sick every time you deal with her? She has hidden behind the mask of a fortune teller when in reality, she is an instrument for the evilest and vilest things in the world. She's a curse. A curse! I couldn't believe my ears. Some villagers laughed and took it lightly, but the others sounded alarmingly aggressive. What the fuck can I do? And where the hell is... As I looked toward the wagon, I saw the door was ajar. Is she listening to this? Rose? Come in, Jesse. I guess she is. What is going on, Rose? Oh. Hmm. This wagon is a lot roomier than I thought it would be. So, I see you've made new friends. <laughs> and from among the choicest people in the village. Not funny, Rose. Did you hear what they're saying? That I'm the cause of every problem they've ever had? Of course I heard it. So, are you going to burn them with the spell you showed me? Not if I can avoid it. Some of those fools are my customers. Customers who will return to me as soon as they need another potion. Do you see that bearded man? He's the guy who left you the letter earlier, and he sounds like he really hates you. Raise your pitchforks, friends. Raise your pitchforks and don't fear the monster. What kind of monster is she, though? I think she's a fiend. She definitely gives me demonic vibes. My mother-in-law says she's a witch, but I don't know. The most widely accepted theory is that she's a vampire. Why else would she avoid the sun? So is that why you told me to bring garlic, Jeb? Look at the garlic, Jesse. Doesn't it make you tremble in fear? Okay, it is ridiculous, but I think something needs to be done about them before they get out of control. If I go out, I will only lose my temper and someone might get hurt. This is not the first time that a group of villagers has said they want me to move somewhere else. They will huff and puff, realize they have no power over me, and return to their mummies or wives. It doesn't matter what she is. Be a witch, or a vampire, a monster, or a demon. She will plague us no longer. Yeah! We won't let her sell us her dangerous potions. We will put an end to the unending bad luck. We will burn her wagon to the ground. Yeah! We will kill her! Kill her! Okay, it's getting, it's getting wild. Kill me. We shall see. Alright, I think uh, I think she got a little upset about that last one. They're fucked. Here she comes. Look how angry she looks. I must remain calm for Jesse's sake. But they must learn not to cross that line. Good evening. 
Can I help you, gentlemen? Uh. Uh. Come now. I heard you shouting about burning down my wagon and killing me. Not me. I just followed everyone by accident. Hey, no, you didn't. I did that. I didn't know we were going to come here. I think we should all go back to the village. Stay where you are. If we stand united, she won't be able to hurt us. Then why would I want to hurt my clients? Everyone here has bought my potions before. And every single one of you has returned home, happy to have found the solution to your problems. And absolutely unharmed. You, on the other hand, dare to call from my death, but it's the first time I see you here. You claim my potions are dangerous, but have never bought anything from me to back your claim. Funny you should say that. Behold what this monster's potion has done to me. There was an audible gasp at the sight of the man's arms, and everyone stepped backward in fear and disgust. Last month, I got rashes on my arms and sent my cousin to buy a cure for it from this monster. I applied the lotion to my skin and went to bed, only to wake up in excruciating pain and to see my flesh has disappeared. That was a cleansing potion meant for cleaning your blood. You should have drank it instead of applying it to your skin, as I'm sure I told your cousin. No, my cousin never lies. Why didn't you buy the potion yourself and get the instructions right? Because I didn't want to be close to this monster. This is not all, friends. On the very same day, I got cursed. My cow died. And my crops got ruined. And it's all because of her. I didn't let her trap me in her wagon to drink my blood, so she cursed me with never-ending pain and ill luck. I didn't like this man's obnoxious attitude, but I felt a little sorry for him. And I think Rose shared my feelings because her tone was gentler when she spoke next. I will have to examine your arms closely first. But it is very possible that I can cure them. You can cure them? You should have come here earlier, Jebediah. Help him, miss. Yeah, help our friend. Shut it. I don't need a monster's help. She did this to me. And she will pay for it. We will burn down this accursed wagon. With her inside it, if necessary. Oh, shit. She's done. She's had enough. I don't know what happened, but we all felt it. Something dangerous that was not to be threatened. I shouldn't lose control. I need to sit down and collect myself. Listen to all of you. I will go inside my wagon, and when I look out, I don't want to see any of you. If you want potions, I'd be delighted to sell them to you. But not tonight. Not when you bring along your pitchforks. You left me a letter of warning earlier. Consider this me returning the courtesy. All right. I think she's had enough. We'll see what the villagers do next. We should have never come. We're going to have days of bad luck, I tell you. F, not weeks. I see why you wouldn't want to, Jeb, but still. I wish you would have let her cure your arm. Cure me? No. But I will find a way to destroy her. Forget it, man. I've got beer. Whoever feels thirsty after this fiasco, follow me. Obviously, they're all going to go for the beer. I probably would, too. Huh? Anything else? Mm. Didn't think so. This guy's going to come back for sure. But we don't need to worry about him right now. Let's go tell Rose to go. I left, Rose. It's over. Rose? Thanks for letting me know, Jesse. You go home as well. We'll talk later. Mm, uh, sure. But are you okay? Yes. I only need a bit of rest. Okay. Until later then. Mm, what's wrong with her? <sighs> this those fuckers coming here and saying they want to burn her house down and kill her. I'd be upset too. I hope she rests well. I'll come check on her tomorrow evening. Alright. We'll check on her tomorrow evening then. Alright. And with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. As always, go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.